Good morning. Here we are in Lane's Cove, Gloucester, Massachusetts. Very beautiful place to paint on this very beautiful day. These walls were built about well over a hundred years ago by Swedes who came over to work the quarries. Now it's a local port for the fishermen, lobster fishermen. Anyway, here we go. We're going to start with some cobalt blue in the sky. We'll bring that down. We'll add a little color to the inner harbor. Put a touch of Windsor blue in that, brighten it up a little bit. And we'll bring that right down to the to the beach, to the sand. And this is where we'll pick up some raw sienna with a touch of rose. Get that beach color in there. All right, that's our first, our first wash. Now I'm going to go in. I'm going to paint this line on the bottom of the walls, which is basically just you know water worn from years and years of, of uh, turning those bricks, turning that granite uh, dark. CD moss moss color, you know, just just worn out. But it's actually very beautiful. You know, it's very warm. It's it's almost black at the base, but as it comes up, it turns into this quinciana and raw sienna, very warm color. Very beautiful. Okay, over here we have a little reflection of the wall. I'm painting around a little dory that's tied up there. Always fun. All right, I'm going to get the wall in itself. This is raw sienna, a little touch of cobalt blue, gray it down. You can see the wall in the background very dark against the sky. So here's where it comes down to meet that dark, that dark line, the water line. Painting around a lobster boat in the background. The other side of the wall that makes up that doorway. There's a load of lobster traps there that we'll we'll paint in. We're not trying to define these right now. We're just just painting in a shape, a value. Get rid of that white. Okay. So we're essentially laying it out. Okay, in the foreground we have some really big rocks and they're a rose color. Um, a little rose with cobalt blue mixed in. Maybe a little raw sienna in there. Okay, well, we're just laying them out. They're, they're really interesting rocks and they, they point out towards the coal which makes it really interesting. and invites the viewer in. So we'll lay in the shape and we'll we'll define it in a little while. So right now we're, we're painting in the beach grass which uh, is right in front of us here and that's just a it's a quinciana raw sienna mixed with a, a little bit of green a little touch of green. So just blocking that in getting that shape in and I'm going to put a little yeah I'm right, just putting a little shadow on the boat that lobster boat in the background get a cabin on it
and there's that warm strip above the dark on the walls and just little up up strokes indicating the blocks of granite there very bright in the sunshine All right, there's the ocean in the background through the wall. Just putting a little ultramarine. And I'm bringing that down. You need a little transition into the cove itself. So just a little light blue stroking it in. Bring it right in. And there's a little, little piece of land out there that's actually Ipswich. And in Plum Island. All right, so I'm bringing that down into the cove itself, a little shadow of the wall, another layer of blue on top of the first layer, and it gives you, you know, leaves some specks of light through there, and it gives you impression of the water. a little raw sienna up front here where you can see through the water and pick up a little bit of the sand color underneath. Okay. Just putting a little definition on that dory that's tied up. A little shadow. All right, I'm going to define this rock a little more so it sits down. Uh, just adding some shadows where the crevices and dark spots on the rock. And then I'll bring it right in. There's some seaweed up against the rock. And, and that's nice. It helps, it helps to sit the rock down. It takes that shape and sits it down. So you can see the horizontal strokes I'm doing with the brush. And that, that sits it down. It's just like seaweed sitting on top of the water. It's nice, we'll bring that right across. Mm -hmm. Alright, and that's all washing in right here at the edge of the water. We tie that in and we put a little bit of a dark edge on the seagrass itself. All right, I'm going back out to the ocean. Uh, it dried up a little light, so I'm adding some some darker color. This is ultramarine. Uh, I'm sorry, it's Windsor blue with a little touch of cad red. Uh, that's a little dark, so I'm going to go back in and, and lighten it. But I like it. Uh, I like it dark. It's usually looking that dark because the wind is blowing out there, as you can see quite as dark as I have it but that's going to dry much lighter. All right, I'm adding a few of the buoys. Buoys, uh, little white buoys. You can see they're nice. It leads your eye right up to that lobster boat. I'm adding some uh, some ropes that come down off the wall where boats come in and tie up. There's a little highlight I'm adding with white gouache on top of the boat couple of antennas and some some of the radar pieces of equipment on the boat itself and just strengthening the highlight okay you can see the ropes I put in there's some ladders and okay, just adding some little dark spots on the wall itself finish it off okay so I hope that helped you a lot of fun being out here Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. And I will see you again soon.